Hi there trailer owners, today in your 2017 Crossroads Zinger, we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install Brightway's 6 volt AGM batteries. AGM stands for absorbent glass mat, and what that is is it's a small fiber that's inside of here and it will absorb any of the battery acid so that makes it completely spill proof. That fine fiberglass mat, that's its main purpose, is to, again, to make it spill proof, which makes it so these batteries can be shipped without hazardous material restrictions. And what that means for you is you're going to save money because other batteries that have those restrictions, they cost more to ship, whereas these ones without those restrictions were just the only cost really is the weight and size of the item. I've gone ahead and taken off the cover for our original batteries on our trailer here just so we can get an idea of what the batteries are that were in there. We're gonna be upgrading from the batteries that our customer had to the newer ones, but we wanted to get an idea of the old ones to see how much power he had available here and how much of a difference we're gonna be making with the newer batteries we're gonna be putting in. So if we look at the old ones here real quick, one, we can tell that these are flooded lead acid batteries. And we can tell that because we have caps here on top that will allow us to perform maintenance on the battery. All the maintenance is, is just ensuring that the electrolyte is topped up and you can add distilled water into the caps to top it up if it does get low. You can see here that the mechanism does flip. Sometimes they're individual caps, sometimes they're all linked together like this one here. That'll open up and that'll access inside where you can see the electrolyte inside. And it looks plenty topped up inside this battery, so we're not going to be doing any maintenance on this one. But that's a good thing to keep an eye on. Now this battery has been in service for quite a few years. AGM batteries, which is what we're gonna be installing over these regular flooded lead acid, their discharge can go lower than what a regular flooded lead acid battery, and it will be able to go lower, recharge, and still maintain more cycles than what a flooded battery here is. Typically with these flooded ones, if you drain them down beyond 50% state of charge, you can really diminish the life of the battery. Whereas with your AGMs, you can go down to about 80% before you really start to deteriorate the, the integrity of the battery. So now we got just got an idea of those. These are six volt batteries as well. That's another thing you wanna look at if you're replacing the battery on your trailer. You really wanna pay attention to how it's wired and look to see if those are 12 or six volt batteries. Cause they're gonna wire up differently depending if they are. If you only have one battery, it's more than likely going to be a 12 volt battery because you typically don't have a single 6 volt because most things run on 12 volts. So if we take a look at these two batteries here, we're going to see we have a positive and a negative, typically labeled with red for positive and black for negative. And then we got another one over here. But if we look, we got the red positive cable here from our trailer going to the junction box there. That's our power out. And then we've got, so that's power positive going to power to our junction box. And then we got ground. Ground typically goes to the frame of your trailer. Well, our ground wire here on this battery is going over to the positive on our other battery. And what that's doing is that's hooking this battery to this battery in series. And what that's going to do is it's going to add the voltage together. So we got a 6 volt and a 6 volt, run them in series, which will give us a total of 12 volts. It's essentially taking these two, putting them together, and making a giant 12 volt battery. The benefits of doing something like this is if you have 12 volt batteries, they often have a lower capacity than what a six volt battery has. So you can get a larger capacity using six volt batteries, which means you're gonna have more runtime for your accessories inside. So we're gonna go ahead and install the new battery now that we've talked about this. Now, if you had multiple batteries and both of those batteries have the, you know, you got your positive wire going to your junction box typically, and both of their negatives go to ground, then those are likely both two 12 volt batteries hooked in parallel. We're gonna go ahead and show you now how to hook up a, a set in series though, just like we got here. So we're gonna go ahead and start by disconnecting our ground wire here. And the size of the bolt's likely gonna vary depending on your particular batteries and stuff. Usually the hardware comes with the batteries. So we'll disconnect our negative. This is just to a solar panel that our customer has. We've now got our negative disconnected there. We'll just put that guy back on there so we don't lose it. We'll then go ahead and disconnect the positive on this same battery, so that'll go ahead and remove those two. 
and then we'll remove the ground from our other battery here. Make sure you save your wire, and then lastly, we can disconnect the positive here. Next thing we're gonna do is gonna take the batteries out. Now, with these regular flooded lead acid, they have these caps on top. You don't wanna just try to lift this out. This is not a handle. that will just rip right off of there. Your battery's gonna fall down. You're gonna make a big old mess. Our new batteries here come with handles, which is pretty awesome. What we're gonna do with this one to get our old one out, since it doesn't have any kind of handle on top, we're just gonna take the whole tray out. So that's what's kind of annoying about these older style batteries, the, the regular flooded lead acid is that they can be spilled and the electrolyte inside can cause irritation to your skin and you definitely don't wanna get it in your mouth or your eyes. So we're gonna go ahead and get this guy out of here. It is heavy. We, we don't want to flip it over if we can avoid that. There we go. And we can see here in the bottom, it looks like she may already have started leaking. We've got some moisture in there. These were fully covered on top. I did remove the covers when we started this, so the, uh, the moisture in there could easily be a crackage or seepage coming out of our battery here, and we could be losing some of that lead acid and are some of the electrolyte inside. One of the tricks you can do on these batteries like this if they don't have handles on top, because you might get some occasional scratches or something when you go to lift the battery out of the case. If they got anything here on top like this, you can use a zip tie, you can slide that in, connect it. We'll do the same on the other side over here. And we've now made ourselves a couple of handles we can use to get this out of here to avoid any potential sharp edges that might be inside on our case. Most of the time there's not any sharp edges, but you just never know what you're going to find in there. We did also see that there was some liquid in the previous case, so to avoid potentially getting any electrolyte on my hands, we're going to lift it out that way. We can see that there's some in here as well. So again, I'm going to go clean these out. We're going to go just use soap and water. Baking soda is also great to help neutralize it if it is electrolyte. Now that they're all cleaned out, I went ahead and put them back onto the compartment, the tray here at the front of our trailer. And we're going to go ahead and set our batteries back in. Since these got handles, it's easier to just drop them down inside the trays than it is putting them in and then lifting the tray up. And we're going to drop it down in there. These are pretty heavy uh, AGM batteries. They can be a little bit lighter than your standard uh, flooded lead acid, but this one here compared to the one we just took out, it's about the same weight. We did put the positive side over here to make sure that it's going to line up with our cables. And when we go put the second one in here, we're going to put the positive side right here as well so we can easily jump our negative to the positive to make sure we're hooked up in series. Each battery will come with a small bag of hardware. What you're going to get is two nuts, two washers, and two lock washers. So we're going to go ahead and hook this up in reverse order of how we disconnected it. Make sure we got our positive cable and anything else that was on our positive. So he had his solar panel hooked up here, as well as this other accessory wire that he had. So make sure we run this back over as well. And we'll secure them with one of the flat washers, followed by a lock washer, and then the nut. Now this is how we're hooking it up. This is the type of ends that the trailer previously had. But one of the things that I do think that's pretty cool about this battery is you've got both options. You've got your regular stud with the hardware that it comes included with to attach it to if you've got ring terminals on your connections. And you've got your standard post on here as well. So if you've got the clamp style post connection, you can hook it up as well. So now that we got them all hooked up, I did go ahead and leave the covers off just so we could take some voltage measurements so we could see where we're at. If we look on our meter here, we're measuring right at about 12.89 volts. And we have two six volt batteries, we wired them in series, and this is about what we would expect, something like this here, right here. So we're about fully charged up on there. We compared the voltages after hooking everything up to make sure we've got our 12 volts, but now the real test is, is it going to operate our accessories? So we're going to start with our jack here in the front, and it looks like everything's working properly here. So we know that our system is hooked up the way it should be. And that completes our installation of Brightway's 6-volt AGM batteries on our 2017 Crossroads Zinger.